before coming out as a Donald Trump supporter. Because of her remark on Russell Brand's election post, Nicole Scherzinger donned a Kamala Harris tee. Days before the election, the 46-year-old multi-hyphenate, who just expressed regret for the scandal, was seen supporting the Democratic Party candidate by donning a shirt. Kamala was scrawled in blue and red writing over a white t-shirt worn by the former Pussycat Dolls member during a picture shoot in New York on October 23rd. She accessorized the ensemble with flared blue jeans and a white jacket lined with fur. As she displayed her gorgeous appearances with natural, complimentary makeup, her hair was styled in an updo. The gifted celebrity, who has a history of making perplexing political statements, spoke out about the topic on Friday by using her Instagram story. I sincerely regret any hurt caused by my recent interaction with certain social media posts, she added. I apologize to anyone who understandably came to the conclusion that these posts were politically related. I made the mistake of not realizing that when I commented on them. The celebrity continued by saying that although the public has made assumptions about what she meant by the remark, it does not truly represent her beliefs or the candidate she voted for. Many of the marginalized communities that are feeling hurt and concerned by the presidential election results are people I care about the most, she explained. As I have always done throughout my life and work, I stand with them. You know that if you know me. Nicole went on to claim that the remark on the Make Jesus First Again hat, a reference to the red Make America Great Again cap used by the Trump campaign, was just a reflection of her faith and how she has resorted to it during difficult times. Like so many others, I turn to my faith in times of adversity and uncertainty, she explained. The posts I interacted with, I thought, were about urging others to choose faith and love, putting Jesus first. In my opinion, Christ is the embodiment of unconditional love, especially for those who might not feel it at the moment, as well as peace, compassion, and hope. I'm from a loving place, and I'll always stand out for principles that unite us. It is crucial that we unite with empathy and love each other more than ever before. Her endorsement of Russell Brand's Make Jesus First Again just days ago infuriated followers. A red Make Jesus First Again hat was proudly displayed by 49-year-old Russell in the election day photo. He wrote, God bless America, as the caption for the photo. Where do I get this hat? Scherzinger, 46, responded to the comment with the prayer hands and red heart emojis demonstrating her love for the MAGA-like headgear. Although the Pussycat Dolls singer hasn't publicly endorsed a politician and doesn't seem to have liked the photo, her admiration for the hat infuriated some Instagram users. Before Donald Trump, whose campaign slogan has been Make America Great Again, defeated Kamala Harris to win the presidency, the original image was circulated. Nicole received responses from Instagram users that said, No hun this ain't it at all. Another added, F asterisk 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 ing hell Nicole not this. Another remarked, Nice predator enabling. Police are looking into allegations that Russell was raped, sexually assaulted, and emotionally abused during his prime. Brand has strongly refuted every accusation. Trump has also been accused of sexual misconduct on other occasions. And in May of last year, a New York jury convicted him guilty of sexually abusing writer E. Jean Carroll. Nicole Scherzinger coming out as a Trump supporter makes perfect sense. A follower on X tweeted in response to her statement. One joked that the Sunset Boulevard the star's chances of winning a Tony might have been harmed by the post. Another said, well the best actress Tony race just got a little less competitive. Scherzinger was raised Catholic, as evidenced by her repeated weekly church attendance in a 2019 interview with The Guardian. Brand, an English actor, has previously expressed opinions about American politics. Brand said he couldn't understand why freedom-loving Americans would vote for Biden instead of Trump in June, just before President Joe Biden withdrew from the campaign and his vice president Kamala Harris took over. Stay Free with Russell Brand was a podcast episode in which Brand voiced his displeasure with the U.S. presidential election. Speaking out against censorship, Brand expressed his concerned feelings about the snobbery, contempt and condemnation of Trump supporters by liberals who are plainly held by his detractors, claiming that they are to blame for the weaponization of the legal system. The comedian remarked, 
if you care about democracy and freedom, I don't know how you could do anything other than vote for Donald Trump, for precisely the reasons that they claim you can't. In a straight choice between Donald Trump and Joe Biden, they act as if a vote is almost like you're directly voting for Armageddon, like you witness frantic performances outside of courtrooms. Unending MSNBC bombast, he continued. But I'm beginning to believe that no, this kind of technological feudalism that pretends to care about you and protect vulnerable people while simultaneously increasing censorship, funding wars, and dividing regular Americans is a greater threat to democracy, he continued.